Hi. I found this old unmarked recording disc in a pile of old records, and when I listened to it, I immediately thought, this might be of interest to people whose children are considering taking saxophone lessons or learning how to play the saxophone. I'll say uh, that uh, one side of this record, it's a, it's a 78 RPM home recording, and it's probably about 50 years old or more because the units that produced uh, these records uh, went out of date when tape recording was invented. So, but what's on the record is basically true for any young student who wants to study the saxophone. Side one of this record was made on August the 23rd, and if you keep listening, uh, you'll know why I make a point of that. Side two of this record was done about six months later. <laughs> I'm covering the six. So, that's what made me think. If you could imagine what your child would sound like in two six-month intervals, which is the way most teachers are probably doing these days, recording their students' progress, you can imagine what might be ahead for your young student. I will first play the side one. Now that student is obviously applying air pressure, developing the muscles around their jaw which help to execute the sound of the saxophone. It's called on the shirt. And um, as we progress here, you'll see some more of uh, what I take it is the same day's lesson and you'll also hear the voice of the teacher.
August, the 23rd of August. Or I'd say from uh, a couple of months from now, we'll cut the other side of this record and see where it's done on the other side. And today we're going to study this record and see where you make mistakes, okay? Okay, we'll listen to it now. Now, understanding that the focus with the students shouldn't always be on listening back and hearing where you make mistakes, nevertheless, what I've heard on that side of the record is a person developing their armature, which is the jaw muscles, and developing uh, their tone, which is uh, very important on a saxophone. It's very easy to underestimate the amount of time it might take to produce the straight tone that you heard that student playing with. Now we'll see what is incorporated on the second side, which presumably is three months later, six months later. Uh, the second side of, of this recording was made, and you'll hear, well, at least I think you'll hear, what the student learned in the period intervening. Sorry, I put the first side on again by mistake. Not only a development of rhythmic awareness, I hear uh, increased uh, tone production and control. Um, I also hear that the student is doing some pretty good reading. Uh, but I also hear another thing that's developing in the student's playing, which is absolutely critical to the saxophone. It's almost unique to the saxophone in some respects, making it closer to a string instrument than even the other wind instruments. And this is what I would call vibrato. Now, in the following uh, examples from the same record, I think you'll hear the student's vibrato developing a little bit, which is a terrific sign. It may have taken six months, so you have to be prepared for that kind of slow progress.
Now, unless that last example, the third band of the record, if you can see here, if you've ever seen a record before, they, they have bands. The third band of the record, well, it sounded almost good enough to be the instructor, in my opinion, but if it were the student, it shows great progress in uh, achieving a good vibrato, a good tone production on the saxophone. These things do take a lot of time, and uh, even though this record was made 50 years ago, give or take, uh, the same problems face any saxophone student today. And uh, these problems are not solved in college. Uh, they're not solved in high school. Um, you can hear plenty of saxophone players who are even professionals that haven't mastered the basics of tone production, the basics of saxophone vibrato, but by addressing them early in the student's uh, uh, development, I should say, uh, maybe even as a priority over developing technique, rapid technique, which of course a, a school band director would want to have a student achieve. Uh, perhaps the production of tone and uh, ought to be a, 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 a desirable goal and not one to be expected in a very short period of time. It's directly related to the amount of time a student is able to practice. Thank you.